Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. If you kindly hit the subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, like and share, I would definitely really appreciate it. This will help the channel to grow. Um, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you briefly how I created the meteor shower. The meteor shower is getting um, very good views. This is one of the most popular videos that I have on my channel. So I just want to give you a brief um, tutorial on how I was able to create the meteor shower um, hitting the earth. Okay. So what I have here, <clears throat> excuse me, is that image playing again. I uh, imported this in from my um, from my pictures and my folder um, in my G Drive, and um, what I also did was I took this same image and I brought it here to my video um, software video editing software. It's called Wondershare. Wondershare has a lot of um, um, interesting templates that you can use to edit your video but the one that I was interested in is called the elements okay so what I did was I, w I imported that image plane that you saw in Maya and I imported here into um, into one to share So let's see here. Let me show you what I did. So I just grabbed it. I clicked, I'm sorry, I clicked on it. And then I just kind of like pulled it out just like this. This is an example. Okay. And then what I did was um, I went into my elements. And I'm going to tell you that uh, Wondershare has a, um, a store called more effects you click on that and it should bring up the store and the store has all these packages that you can buy visual uh, Hollywood visual effects package that you can purchase like here you can see it's the fire the explosions but for some reason I do not see the um some of the visual effects that I um I purchased before so I don't know if they still have it I don't know what happened to it but I'm glad I was able to buy it before they maybe decided not to sell it anymore so let's click out of this so after I um imported my background here um, I went into my visual effects library, which is here. Then I scroll down. I scroll down. I have all these um, templates they have here. And these are the meter templates. So what I did was I just clicked on it. Let's bring one down here. One here, bring one down over here. Right there. So let me give you an example how this would look. There we go. I just want to give you just a short example. So this is the first thing I did. Okay. So after I created this, after I added my meters, meters to my space background image plane, I exported it out and I created the video. Okay. And then what I did was I, um, after I export this out of here, let's see, export. 
export and create video. Yep. So when I exported this out, I created a video. And after I created the video, I put it in the folder. I exported it out into a folder. And then I imported the video into an image sequence software. Okay. So then after I imported, after I created it, it okay. After I imported it into an image sequence software, then I it, imported it into Maya. Okay, here's the same thing that you saw in Wondershare. And what I did also, I created a sphere and then I added a texture onto the sphere to make, you know, to create the earth. So, Actually, this here, now what you see here, is just a image sequence video. Okay, I went into the perspective view, went into the image plane, and then I, I mean, let me go into hit this folder there. So this is all the frames that was created Okay, this is the image sequence. This is the image sequence images that was created. Um, that's coming from the um, Wondershare software. Okay, I hope you still follow me. Okay. Then after I did that, I rendered these frames <coughs> in Maya. Okay, which is about 2,000 frames. I created the folder and then I rendered this scene out of Maya into another folder. Okay. Then what I did also, I went back to Wondershare and I um, imported it back into Wondershare. Okay, and this is what you will see. Because what I wanted to do was I wanted to create the, the, the meter shower, some of the comets going in front. If you see here, it's going in the front of the earth and you got some going behind. So when I, well, so when I imported it, when I imported this back into Wondershare, I put more of the um, comments again in the video that I exported out of Maya. Okay, let's see. This is what you will see. This is how this is how better it looks. See this? You see this particular? Um, see you see this particular? Um, in this scene right here, you can see that the that the large asteroid crashes into Earth. Let me show you how I did that. I'm gonna go back here to Maya again. Maya has what you call a visor effect. I showed you this before. This is the comet. This is the um, meter um, that I use in the visor. So I just grabbed it, minimus clicked it, and I and I brought it into my scene. Okay, you can see it right up here. So let's let me show you um let me kinda move this so you can see you can see it when it comes out right there when it comes right on across. Let's see. 
see here. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. There it is right there. Bam. That's it right there. <laughs> okay. So um, that's how I was able to create the meteor shower and all of that's by using Wondershare. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope I explained it right. It's, 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 it's a lot it's a lot of steps but if you go back over it again it, it'll come to you and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment and I definitely will answer it I, I, I definitely will, will respond to you don't forget to like share subscribe to these videos because they are not easy to make this particular video um, took sometimes they can take up to a week to two weeks to make so Okay, thank you. Take care. Goodbye.